to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are going to discuss regarding HBase hotspot detection and how to resolve this problem. So let me clean out this screen first and then uh, I'll go and discuss this. So what exactly the hotspot? So if you know HBase is a random read database. So let's assume you have HBase uh, cluster with you and this HBase cluster has containing a, like what you say so many nodes uh, like this is three node cluster I would say just for example and this each node store one reason for uh, these reasons are HBase table specific so HBase table can be divided into the multiple reasons oh, okay suppose this is your HBase table this is big table correct so this is divided into the multiple reason suppose three reasons so each reason would be stored on this node this is three reasons we are storing on three nodes so R1 r2 and r3 so three reasons this whole table is divided while storing so what exactly the hotspot problem in hbase so whenever you are processing a time series data so first you understand time series data time series which is the events which are happening on the time suppose 15 july 2015 at 12.011 event happens. Next event happened 15 July 2015, 12.02. Next event 15 July 2015, 12.03. Something this is my time series event. So which happens in every second or whatever the fixed time duration. So which is happening and is coming. So what exactly with this each event I am having some like uh, what is the stock price of IBM? Correct. Uh, 11.12 dollar. 15.2 dollar. Uh, 16.2 dollar. This kind of price I wanted to store in HBase. So what exactly I have done to store this? I have to first the, the HBase based on the row key. Correct. So whenever you store, you have to define the one row key and then value part. I'll not go complete design how it is going to stored. Let's assume it's just uh, the, this based on. So my row key here is 2015 July 15 July 1201 2015 July uh, 7 uh, 15 July again sorry 15 July 1202. So this is my row key and the value is 11.215.02 something correct. So what happening this events you have written a code like push this my data continuously in real time in the HBase cluster. So this is your client code which reads the data from the file or let's say some uh, real time streaming uh, sorry some real time streaming happens uh, and you are inserting this data directly to the HBase. So now in HBase reason are, if you know, at, uh, I would say keep range based. So this reason R1 stored data between like 2015 July 7, 15 July for 12 to AM to 1 PM. Similarly for the same date, it is stored 1 PM to whatever I would say uh, 6 PM pm and this is for 6 pm to whatever remaining time i would say till 16 july 11 59 or 23 59 okay so this data would be stored so what happens so whenever you are into the around 12 hours so all record will go to the single node because this node is only able to store your rows into the 1201 between and up to one so all the inserts during your first 12 to whatever data generated between 12 to 13 pm uh, would be or whatever 12 to i would say whatever you have defined on this it will go on this node and from 13 to let's assume it this is 18 okay and this is 13 up to 13 and this is 
18 to 23 okay mm. so let me clean it out again so it would be better to explain you okay so let's assume this reason is capable of storing between let's say time part only 12 am to 30 pm this reason is capable of 13 pm 1301 pm to 18 pm and this reason is capable of 1801 to 2359 pm so whatever events are happening between like ibm stock prices keep changing between 12 to 13 12 uh, am to or 00 am to 13 pm whatever events are happening this node is busy because everything you write it goes here so during this your cluster contain even three nodes these three nodes are doing nothing so that is the problem is hotspot problem whenever you are writing only single node is busy because based on your row key the way you have designed your row key it data goes into this node if you change your row key suppose uh, suppose my Rookie, now I am processing data between 13 to 18 then this node is busy and this node is doing nothing this node is doing nothing so that is the my cluster problem and when I am the third part of my day then this node is busy this node is doing nothing so this is the hotspot problem even you are having your multi node cluster at a time only one node is busy and heavily loaded uh, only one node so that is the HVS hotspot problem while processing the time series data so to solve this issue you have to design your key accordingly like based on it will randomly decide based on some logic it will randomly or equally distribute your data accordingly suppose you are in the first part of your day 12 to 13 pm 12 am to 13 pm then still i should be able to select some hashing or some logic i have to apply so uh, so like some bucketing algorithm or something i have to do like append some part on the randomly on the key like between 0 1 0 2 or 0 3 you add out of this three random value uh, based on some little logic like uh, whatever like taking the hash and then modulo doing the modulo and all this thing and decide like even i am during the 12 to 13 i should be able to write data into this three nodes equally so and similarly uh, while reading back this data you have to apply the same logic to get first create your key and uh, and which node i have to point it out to get the data so like this is little bit complex part to understand but uh, that's what i wanted to explain here in hotspot problem everything goes to the single node so to avoid this write goes to the single node just write or uh, while writing the data take some do some logical partitioning this is kind of partitioning where each node is equally busy and each data goes to so uh, that's what i wanted to explain here in the hotspot and to solve this problem do some hashing or bucketing and append this as a part of your initial part of the row key because the data in hp is always in the sorted manner that's the reason it will go into the single node the always remain into the sorted order so to uh, sorting uh, has to be so customized like uh, based on some logic you have to write in this so uh, this is how what exactly a hotspot problem in edge base if you really want to understand in detail what exactly uh, this hotspot problem uh, and how to solve and how to do hands-on session where we have explained this code so please visit hadoopexam.com this is our website hadoopexam.com where we have complete uh, hps training on the uh, full syllabus you can check over here we have hands-on session as well on the hps 
so you can watch this hands-on session you can do practice uh, your own and similarly we have also Hadoop training so same multiple 33 modules in the uh, Hadoop training we have so this uh, you can check here right now in edge base we have 18 modules so this is lifetime accessible training and any new module you add as part of this training you can get without any additional uh, fee or something so we are keep adding the new session so these are all sessions are available and their length is also specified so and you can do the hands-on session as part of this training we are also provide pre-installed hadoop and edge base into the virtual machine so you can practice your own so this is training right now we are providing hadoop big data training and this edge base no sql training and at the same time we are also providing certification help regarding development Hadoop developer certification edge base certification ccb 400 administration certification so you can prepare for the certification like data science certification this kind of big data area training and certification help we are providing so we suggest you keep visiting hadoopexam.com please note this url hadoopexam.com and where you can see the complete syllabus for hadoop training we provide 33 modules with including hands-on session and it also include the hadoop 2.x like new version of the hadoop training as part of this uh, so please subscribe this youtube channel uh, where you are watching this video uh, and uh, so in future if we add new sessions so this will also available to you so thanks thanks for watching and i would suggest you please go through this hadoopexam.com at least once and try to see what we are providing and how it can help in your career to grow in big data world thanks thanks for watching and uh, it helped you lot to understand i believe uh, hotspot detection how to detect the hotspot uh, so we have given some hands-on exercise on this which is like part of our paid subscription so you can go through this session and watch this and then your own you can do this so thanks thanks for watching and let me stop here